Good evening, and welcome to the first of its kind TCAN Virtual Gala. I welcome you all. Thank you for tuning in. I'd like to thank Lori and Mark for tonight's performance, and it's going to be a great show. I'd also like to thank the staff for pulling us all together. I'd like to thank our executive director, David Lavalley, for all the work that he has put together this year. I'd also like to thank our board of directors who have been extremely generous and very supportive. Mostly, I want to thank you for really supporting us in our absolute time of need. Nine months ago, when the pandemic hit, we shut down. And like many, like all of the arts and entertainment business, we're going to be the first to suffer and the last one to recover. But because you guys have all stepped up, it's been a remarkable saving grace for us. And for that, I thank you. Every year at this gala, I stand up on the stage and indicate that this is going to be the best year ever. We're going to do better this year than last year. And tonight really should be no, should be no different. We're really looking forward to a great, great, great show tonight. We appreciate your support. We look forward to your continued support until we can get back in person on the stage with live music. Until then, enjoy the show. Welcome everyone to TCAN Virtual Gala 2020. Thanks for coming and joining us for this event. Uh, TCAN is dedicated to bringing people together through the arts, so it's particularly difficult to um, have that be not possible this year. But while that isn't possible, we hope that the music inspires you and helps to lift your spirits. Uh, this event marks our 23rd year of presenting arts programs and community programs in Natick Center. And so I'd like to recognize the TCAN staff, the members of the TCAN board, and all the TCAN volunteers, both past and present, uh, for the role that all of you have played in making TCAN what it is today. Uh, this concert tonight was captured by a, a very professional production crew. Uh, who took every precaution to maintain the safety of the artists and themselves. Um, they wore masks throughout the performance. They practiced social distancing. And of course, uh, there was no crowd surfing uh, permitted either during or following the performance. Lori McKenna, I think, is the perfect artist to perform at TCAN Virtual Gala 2020. She's been performing at TCAN for over 10 years, and now she's won multiple Grammy Awards. So sit back, relax, enjoy your favorite refreshment, and enjoy the music of Lori McKenna and Mark Arelli. Okay, ready? Wasted on the young I Spilled every last drop of time that summer in the sun Daddy had a Timex watch Cigarette in his hand and a mouthful of sketch Spinning me around like a tilt the world on his own Houses need paint, winters bring snow Kids come on in before your supper gets cold Collection plates and daddy's bill fold And that's how it goes Live long enough People get old I sat up brown beside him in the cab of that ship Going 30 miles an hour down Talking about the fish we caught And I'm older now than he was then If I could go back in time I would in a second To his beat up blue jeans And a t-shirt with the sleeves cut off Houses need paint When it's bring snow Kids growing up Sneaking out the window Hitting every small town dirt road And that's how it goes And he shouldn't be shoveling that first 
snow, but you know we won't take the hill. For pride and love, they don't say too much, but hell, he never did. You still think he's 45, and he still thinks that you're a kid. But one day you find yourself saying the things they said. You'll be walking up the hallway, turning off every light switch. And you twirl your kids in your arms. Before you know it, it won't take too long. They'll be running off, making a life just like you. Somebody knows This is how it goes You live long enough The people you love Get old That's how it goes. <laughs> that is how it goes. That's how it goes. I think we'll start off with the sad songs and then move into the sad songs is what we're going to do. <laughs> <laughs> That's Sounds like gonna, a plan. <laughs> That's what we're going to do this evening. Or we're going to start off with the sad songs and just stay in the, in the sad songs is maybe better. Suda, this is Marcarelli right over here helping me out. Keeping me um, in time and in tune. <laughs> in time in these strange times. And we're so thankful to be with you guys tonight. And this amazing crew we have. Helping us out. And we're going to sing you some songs, some old songs and some, some new songs. Tugging on her dress, tuning her strings All the whiskey-faded cigarette blown dreams She brings herself to her own knees With every line so delicate She sings every song that she knows The way that she hears them sad and slow They're never gonna play her on the radio so she hangs in the darkest bars with downtrodden and bleeding hearts. A guitar man there who knew all the chords. Said he needed her to help him find the words. The balladeer couldn't love anybody more. It was magic, but she worried what if she ran out of the pain she carried round with her so proud. down so he brought her to the river where she could wash the trouble from her heart and let it shine like gold felt like angels pouring mercy on her soul and the weed of the world she let it go and she sang for the first time with her head held high and so much pride it opened up no Drinking with their friends and strangers And business people called to say That she was finally headed for the stars Or at least the top of the charts They changed her clothes and bought fancy cars Till the guitar man caught the eye of 
Dear. There she is. In all her balladeerness. <laughs> I wrote that song because I saw those words, you know, I've seen you've seen we've all heard about balladeers over the years many times. But I saw those words um, written down somewhere and I thought, oh man, that'd be such a good title for a song. And then of course you get in there and right away I realized well, it can't be about me, just because I tend to like sad songs, you know? It can't be all about me. So it's nothing about me. <laughs> you go one direction or the other, you know? This song is about me. Let's see. I'm the youngest of six children. My parents had four boys, a girl named Marie, and then a girl named me. And um, this song popped out one day, a song I wrote for my sister, Marie. And she was nice enough, she was kind enough to let me record this song. Across my pillow, ask her if she was sleeping, try to keep her from her sleep. We had a picture on the wall of a baby angel in a golden crown when the world came tumbling down. Sunday morning church Side seats at the dinner table For all the brothers raising a little bit of hell than me She looks more like a mother She's prettier and softer She always helps me find my way I've been lost a time or two She knows bigger words than I Ever walked in mine but me We turned 13 two weeks after Daddy sat us down and said your mama's died And it took me years to realize She wasn't out getting gross 
I was waiting on a resurrection Saved by my disposition A grandfather crying in the kitchen Couldn't bear the sight of me baby angel around my house. <laughs> <laughs> Where did it start? It was in our bedroom when we were little, and then uh, it was in the sunroom for a while. I should have known. That's the lyric of the That's song. That's the lyric of the song. That's true. That true, story. true story. True <laughs> story. Sometimes these songs are true, and sometimes they're not at all. Is it still in the writing room? It's in the writing room now, right. yeah. Just watching over me, making sure I'm rhyming correctly. <laughs> um, we hope everybody who's watching out there Tonight is enjoying themselves and, um, and feeling better about um, their life listening to um, these sad songs that we're, we've been singing at you. Um, but honestly, I hope, um, I hope you all are, are good and taking care of each other and taking care of yourselves. And I hope you know that we miss you as much as, as you miss shows. We miss shows. <laughs> We miss, we miss our audiences. We miss uh, strangers. We miss Rest everything. Stops Rest stops. I, someone said the other day, I even miss delayed flights and bad coffee. Oh. <laughs> I, could, I could do that. I could yeah. do Yeah, I could do that. Could go for a good delayed flight right about now. As long as we made the show, right? Yeah, yeah it'd be all worth it, right? Well, they wouldn't start without us. <laughs> That's true. That's true. If you did want to do, maybe this is bad form. You can cut this out if this is bad form. But if you, if you did want to do a drinking game to, because you're home uh, and you can because you're not driving, I just realized that you, it's quite easy with my songs because if you hear the word um, kitchen, back porch, front porch, um, hallway, nightlight, those are my words. So if, if I say those words... I'm not going to play it because I'll never make it through the set. <laughs> I know you're not going to play but I'm just saying, and you can, you, you can all, we can, we can just skip all that, but if you, if, if, if somebody did want to play... Yeah, I would recommend other people play. The, the more people play, the better we will sound. I'm saying the people at home, because right. they're not driving. Right, yeah. exactly. And we're drinking tea, so we... Plus, we can't, we can't take a sip of our drink in the middle of the song anyway. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. This is a couple records ago, this one.
little bit of rock and roll. Just, just a tiny little bit. You can't do that really in the, in the basement so much. I, I do it like... over and over in the basement. I'm sure I'm annoying everyone in my house, but it's not the same without you. It's just so good. Oh, we're so, I mean, it feels good to be in this room. Uh, we are here in loving support of, um, of TCAN and all the magic that happens in, in this room. Um, I can't, I'm sure someone could, but I can't count how many times I've been here. Um, and we've played shows here together and, and with our band. And, um, and it's, just, it's just a magical place that I know um, was built and it was built with um, a lot of love and, and patience and um, support. Um, and, and so it just needs, it's just going to need that um, love and patience and support um, during all this. Because it's been about 10 months since shows have been able to take place in this magical room. And, um, and, um, and soon enough, soon, not soon enough, but soon. They'll be, they'll be coming back around again, and we we need um, Tiken to to be here for us all when we when we just get back on the back back in the minivan and back on the, <laughs> on the road <laughs> to play for people that we love. So, so I wrote this song with Haley Witters um, in my basement in beautiful Stoughton, Massachusetts. One day, Haley showed up with this idea. Haley is a, a brilliant artist. Um, put out a record recently called The Dream, and, um, and w if we can get Haley to, to come on up here, um, she would love this room. We'd, l we'd love to do some shows with Haley up here. Um, but this one's called Happy People. I don't remember how it starts. Is it just like... One, two, one, one four. Just like three. everything else I just learned. <laughs> Let's do it that way. <laughs> People don't lie. They don't judge and hold the grudge. They don't criticize. Happy people don't hate. Happy people don't steal. Cause all the hurt sure ain't worth the guilt they feel. So if you want to know the secret, you can't buy it, gotta make it. And you ain't Hey! 
happy while we're here. Man, I should write more happy songs. They're Just fun to play. Yeah. Hello to all my friends at the Center for Arts in Natick. Senator Ed Markey here, and I want to congratulate all of you on your 23rd anniversary. At the heart of Natick Center Cultural District, the Center for Arts is one of our Commonwealth's gems. I know how hard you all work, be it through performances or community outreach, and I know how hard this year has been. That's why I am co-sponsoring uh, uh, the Save Our Stages Act, so that stages like yours can continue to inspire our communities. I'm so honored to be able to send my well wishes to you and to everything that you do towards this year's annual benefit. Thank you for all that you do and congratulations. You are an invaluable, central uh, asset uh, for the community and for the Commonwealth. When I think of TCAN, my heart lights up. I think about how everyone starts hooting and hollering and the audience makes it feel like a family reunion. The listeners are sophisticated and they love great music, but they're open to all sorts of genres and styles, whether it's jazz, rock and roll, blues, folk, and that is what TCAN always delivers with its curation, great music. It's so important, more than ever right now, to support the live venues that we love because without music, our spirits are heavy. I think we've all noticed over the last eight months that without reason to be together and sing and dance and be lifted up with joy, things feel a little dull. So if you are in the position that you're able to support live venues that we love so much, please do and thank you. Thank you from the artist's point of view who make our living doing this and feel so much joy being with you in a live setting. And, and thank you to, to you from our communities that all need this extra breath of life and energy and we will get back to it, but we need our live venues to be there when the world gets back to normal and reopens. And until then, oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. And since we've no place to go, right? Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Enjoy this holiday season with your friends or family or FaceTime calls, whatever it is. I know it's not anything like we thought it would be, but um, here's to hoping for a great start to 2021 and being able to see all of you in person again soon. Much love. Hi, I'm Nicola Anderson and I'm the Cinema Programme Director here at the Centre for Arts in Natick. Thank you for joining us tonight for this wonderful evening and a big thank you to our gold business sponsors. I want to pay particular recognition to Middlesex Savings Bank, who have been wonderful, wonderful supporters of us here at TCAN for at least 20 years. Michael McAuliffe and his team are such big supporters and we want to say a big thank you to those guys. And Laboursoft as well. David Durant and his team over at Laboursoft, which are a software engineering company based in Braintree, have also been gold business sponsors for us today and huge supporters of us for a good few years. So thank you all so much for your support now and always. And thank you for being here for us and um, celebrating this wonderful event with us tonight. Thank you. I think musicians love little rooms no matter what. I think when you when you hear interviews with musicians that have toured the world, you know, in the biggest places there are, they love little rooms because you can feel the audience, you can feel everybody there. Places like this, special places like this have a soul, you know, they really do. They have like a spirit that you can feel like guitars have spirits and rooms like this have spirits. And you know the you hear about the famous ones in, in you know, in this city, you know, this is the, the room that feels like it welcomes musicians, it welcomes music, it welcomes people that appreciate the create the creativity that goes into everything that you guys display or or produce here. And I think um, 
I think it's because we can all feel each other in a room like this. I don't know. I mean, I always feel like when I think of this room, I think that you guys do have such great members. And I remember the first couple of times I played here thinking nobody was going to come. And it was, I think it was always full. And then we'd talk to somebody and be like, oh, well, that's the membership. The membership will, will come even if they don't know. The, that's how we build our audiences. But by members that don't know who you are, but they're a membership of this room and they'll come to the show if they have that Saturday night free. So I wrote this song for um, a friend of mine that was going through some trouble and sort of being really quiet about it. And, um, and I kept checking on her and, and reaching out and, um, and I could tell she didn't want to share, share. So I wrote her a song and said that's what songwriters do sometimes. This one's called Uphill. this room so much and it's partly due to the the, the times that I've been here um, not just forgetting chords <laughs> and words like I always do but literally um, literally just like having my heart pouring out you know on the stage um, there was a time there was the, the biggest cry in the middle of song was on was on this stage and Mark was standing right beside me and gave me a look like you can get through this McKenna um, <clears throat> and we'll play that song in a minute but um, this is a song that I wrote with Liz Rose and, and Hillary Lindsay about our children and um, and we released it um, on a record this summer that that I put out and normally our our summer and our fall would um, 
would consist of, of, of being here and playing uh, this show for an audience and being able to present this song to you. Um, so that's what we're going to, we're going to, I'm just going to try to step right into it and pretend that you're all here in, the, in this beautiful room with me um, and sing you this one. It's called When You're Mind. When you're mine, I hope the world is kind Then it seems to be right now And I hope the front page isn't just a reminder How we keep letting each other down When I was your age Things didn't seem to be this hard Riding bikes out on the street Playing tag in the backyard You'll outgrow your shoes You'll outgrow your bed You'll outgrow this house Just don't
I don't know uh, when exactly this was, but um, I did have a, a breakdown on the stage right before or in the middle of this song. And I don't think I will do it right this moment because, well, you never know. Um, I don't know if anyone noticed because I feel like everyone else is breaking down when you play this song too, so it just <laughs> seems normal. Maybe I know so. I am. Maybe so, but you did get me through it. As through as I got through through it, which wasn't very through. Uh, <laughs> does that make any sense? Um, you did get me through. I remember looking at you, as I always look at Mark when I make a mistake or when I need help, um, and um, and I needed help, and um, and he just he gave me the eyes, the eyes where you can do this, McKenna. And the reason I lost it, Tina was in the room. So it, when you hear the song, you'll. Tina was in the room that night. The kitchen smells like orange peels. Her stomach turns like a spinning wheel. Put the baby down in a little seat. You should rest now, Mama. You should eat. It ain't right, you've been working all day And all us kids getting in your way So she goes to bed as soon as the kitchen's clean And I don't mean a thing to you, but it does to me Well, I don't know if this part is true How memories lie, sometimes they do But I can see her in living room with a smile on her face and she's dancing to Judy Garland Carnegie Hall Sunday April 23rd she said her cousin had a balcony seat and I don't mean a thing to you but it does to me oh lord am I good enough She never said a word to me about dying, about how she'd leave And all the pain, she would never cry Me and my best friend Tina would ride our backs And we rolled up daily drive We took a paper route one summertime Tina's mom said I was part of the family I don't mean a thing to you, but it does to me. Oh, Lord, am I good enough? When this world spins as hard as it does, and we both know how it shakes some people up. How did you decide? say who I am today and I swear I've tried to be worthy of the name they gave me when I was young but I ain't that pretty I ain't that brave and my kids have seen me cry I should have given her name to my sister Marie and that don't mean a thing to that don't mean a thing to you, but it does to me. Good job, Mark.
It's my pleasure to introduce Kate McDonough and Ed Berman, the principals of Atlantic Vision, a manufacturing company here in Massachusetts, who are our signature sponsors for this evening. I'm Ed Berman, and um, this is a fantastic place to see and hear the performing arts. We love the concerts. We love the movies. We come here because it always feels good and welcoming. And it's not, there's not a bad seat in the house. David's put together an amazing team that is always friendly and helpful. Uh, they're wonderful people. I can't say that I, I know anyone on the board, but that's not important. What is important is that if you love it here, do something about it. That's why we're here. So have a good day and stay cool. Ed and I have been coming to TCAN for over 10 years. We really love it. Uh, some of the acts we've seen here are just amazing, like Peter Wolf, the Smithereens, Wes Zeppelin, and the people that work here are so great. The sound is fabulous. Um, it's just a great place to see anything. So support the tea can. Anyway, uh, I just want to say a few words in support of the Center for the Arts at Natick, Natick, Massachusetts. I've had lots and lots and lots of great experiences there, great times. I love the audiences there and the people that run the place. It's a great joint. And I'm looking forward to being there again in person. It's the sooner the better. All right, and uh, please support the Center for the Arts at Natick. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Valerie Barreto. I am the Development Coordinator here at TCAN, and I would like to take a moment to say a special thank you to some of our Gold Level sponsors this evening. First, a special thank you to our friend Alice Greif, who is out in New York City. A uh, very special thank you to you, Alice. Uh, next, I would like to say thank you to Dr. Kathleen Faulkner, um, her husband Henry, and they are from Dover and have been longtime friends to TCAN. Thank you so much, Kathleen and Henry. Um, next, I would like to say a special thank you to Mike and Barbara Collins. Uh, Mike, if you don't know, is the chair of our board here at TCAN and Mike and Barbara are longtime friends and have supported this wonderful organization over the years. Um, so thank you so much to everybody who has supported this event and who has supported TCAN, um, especially through this difficult time. I'd like to say a special thank you to all of our sponsors and all of our viewers and take care and stay healthy. Thank you. I hope you're enjoying this performance by Lori McKenna and Mark Arelli. Lori joins a long list of performers who've played at the TCAN Gala since 2004. Judy Collins, Christopher Cross, Don McLean, Paula Poundstone, and Sean Colvin are just a few of the artists who've celebrated with us and helped us raise funds to support arts programs at TCAN. As your community arts center, TCAN has also presented movie screenings, arts programs for children, open mic events, and community theater productions, while providing opportunities for local artists to share their work with the community at large. While the pandemic has forced us to suspend many of the programs you love, we can't wait to return. That's why we're asking for your contributions tonight to help sustain TCAN until it's safe for us to reopen once again. Please, play your part so the artists, the staff, and the volunteers can be here to welcome you back in 2021. We have some very exciting plans for next year and we'll have a major announcement to share with you in just a few weeks. Thanks to each and every one of you.
I, I've been saying this whole year, like each day has been like four days emotionally. Like you wake up in one headspace and then the day goes on and, and you end up with all these different emotions. And I feel like we're all in the middle of that still. But as we see, as we see, you know, us coming out of that next year, hopefully, you know, sooner rather than later, I think we'll all just be, um, I think the, that we'll all just come together like, you know, like a family member that hasn't seen each other in a while. You know, we'll get, we'll get to the family first and the audience next. And, um, and it's going to be beautiful. You know, when, when you always, when you step back and you end up in, and you have so much pain for this long a period, it makes, you know, the little things really shine. And you realize the little things aren't that little. They're really, really important to us. And I think the supporters will, will be there for you in a, great room like this, they surely will. So I guess it was um, 2004. 2004, I put out a record called Bitter Town and um, did my CD release show here for that record. And that record brought me um, a publishing deal, uh, Faith Hill recorded a few of the songs that were on that record and we're going to play one of them for you now but I did the um I did a show later that year um to release that CD or maybe it was in 2005 in reference to that record and um we were just talking about this the good old days and um and had a record label from Nashville show up and sort of ended up with a a, a deal for a while and ended up with a publishing deal that I that I still um and part of um, different publisher, but still get to write songs for a living because of of that record and because of um, audiences that we get we we came up playing um, for in New England in this this great culture of um, of acoustic music and live music that places like this um, really brought us up on raised us they raised our careers <laughs> they really, I wouldn't have a career if not for room like T can and and um, and the, and the people that support it. Um, and I just love it so much. And I'm um, so thankful for you guys for watching and supporting. We're going to sing you one that sort of um, s sort of changed everything for me in, uh, in my musical world. This is Stealing Kisses.
know there's a light that glows by the front door. Don't forget the key is under the mat. The child that starts should always stay humble and kind. Go to church cause your mama says to. Please your grandpa every chance that you can. It won't be a waste of time. Always stay humble. the door say please say thank you don't steal don't cheat don't lie i know you got mountains to climb but always stay humble and kind when those dreams that you're dreaming come to a free ride from no one or the grudge or a chip and here's why bitterness keeps you from flying always stay on your kind know the difference between sleeping with someone sleeping with someone you love I love you ain't no pick of the line so always say no Shut off the AC and roll the windows down and Let the summer sun shine Always stay humble and kind and Don't take for granted the love this life gives you When you get where you're going, turn right back around And help the next one in line Always stay humble one more song for you um again i just want to thank everybody for um for watching and for tuning in and for supporting tcan and um and everything magical that happens in this room and um <clears throat> i just can't tell you enough i don't know exactly how to put into words how much we need rooms like this and how much um what we write and what comes out of us, we often find in these places, in these rooms, whether we're going to each other's shows or um, or just talking to audience members or people that have come to our shows. And I mean, we just, it's been um, a lifeline for us, places like this. So thank you for your support of TCAN. Thank you for um, everything that you can do to, to keep this place as magical as it is, we have a, a bunch of people helping us here this evening. This is Mr. Marcarelli right over here, keeping me um, 
as musical as I as I can be right now during all of this. Um, and we have a great crew of people. We have uh, Rob Ma Massey and his crew um, who've been all over the place taking care of us. Uh, on video, the production crew at Natick Pegasus and uh, Joe on sound, Matt on lighting. Of course, Dave, God, David Lavalley. I'm sorry I call you Dave sometimes. I think I call you Dave a lot, David. Lavalley. My son's name is David, and I call him Dave, so it's I mean it in a loving way. But thank you, David. <laughs> I do. I actually have a shirt that says, I'm David doing David things, and I should have worn it this <laughs> evening. I got it for my son, but um, tonight, <laughs> it's you. Uh, and Josh and Erin, so thank you guys for, for helping us out. And um, we're going to leave you with a little... A little girl crush. We're going to leave you with the song. We 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 pretty much close all of our shows with this song. I think over the last couple of years, and um, I don't know how many shows we've had this year, but this um, this might be the second one. I think <laughs> this might be the one and two. One this and two. two. Yeah. And um, as far as people in the room, you know, we're being obviously very careful. Um, but um, I'll take you. I mean, we have. We have a crew of amazing people helping uh, me out. So thank you guys for being here and, and taking care of us. Um, I wrote this song with Liz Rose and Hillary Lindsay um, in Nashville, Tennessee, one morning around 8.30 in the morning. Uh, at 11 that morning, um, our friends Karen Fairchild and Kimberly Schlappman from the band Little Big Town showed up to write songs with us that day. And we played them this song. And they went on to record this and, and, and make a hit out of it. Um, and I've ne I've never recorded it myself, but we play it we play it every night, and it's always fun to play and always fun to to leave you guys here. Again, thank you so very much for being here. Thank you so very much for caring enough um, to press enter on your, on whatever computer or device you have, and in, um, in reference to to showing up and and caring about this room and what it means to all of us who who get to be part of it. Thanks again so much, guys.
hate to admit it, but I got a heart rush, and it ain't slowing Sat on the front porch still Too angry to go to bed Spitting the last three bears That we had left in the fridge Don't try to kiss me yet Cause I ain't over it Whatever you do Don't make me laugh Cause you ain't gonna Such as mine, I can't help but smile. Still making a long drive, still working overtime, still lying by your side, even in the great divide. Still staying up all night, holding on just to make it right. Still fine. So easy to fall in love So easy to let it go So easy to give it up Pack it in and quit the show Ain't nothing easy about us, babe Stubborn as a stubborn does Thanks very much for joining us for tonight's performance, and a special thanks to our friends Lori McKenna and Mark Arelli for sharing their talents with us. To everyone who made this event possible tonight, especially our sponsors and contributors, you have our thanks and deepest gratitude. Please follow TCAN at nativearts.org and on our social media channels for news and program announcements. And most of all, Stay healthy and safe. We look forward to seeing you soon in 2021. Thank you and good night.
happy while we 